Hi, people. You're welcome. But well, this is a show brought to you by a mother's love initiative. And like we like to say, committing to fatherhood. So, Mr. Jude Chukuka, one of Nigeria's <laughs> foremost actors, performer. You're welcome. Thank Every you. time. I'm honored. I'm honored. I'm Every honored. day. I'm honored. Fatherhood. How? When does it begin with you? Well, I, I became a father when I wasn't ready to be a father. I, I had my first child when I was 27. Beautiful. And at that point in time in my life, I, I wasn't ready for a thing like that. However, she, her emergence, so to speak, compelled me to um, just change, you know, see things differently. I don't take fatherhood lightly. I, I see myself as first the priest of my house, I see myself as um, my daughter's first boyfriend. I see myself as my first, my son's first role model. So I don't take it lightly. I, I deal with my children um, very differently. And they are the reasons why I am a father in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> At 27, you became a dad. Yeah. What changed? Specifically, if Specifically, you can remember. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I stopped being the nocturnal guy. <laughs> you know, you know, in the course of a pregnancy, I, I got attached to the pregnancy to the point that I wouldn't leave home. I, I never missed any antenatal of my three children. You know, what kept you going? You know, at, at, at that age, I mean, you had so many things to do, but yet you were... I mean, you were seeing other women in the clinic, right? Well, funny enough, <laughs> I, I, I keep records. I write the doctor's instructions, and the girl will just be laughing. <laughs> Talo Lonyo, who is pregnant? I say, well, I'm responsible for the pregnancy. Maybe another one, about this one. And I, you know, and that flowed into my marriage. When I married, when I settled down and said, okay, it's time to pick, start a family, I... I never missed any antenatal. I, nev I never, you understand, I, I kept record, uh, vitamin B, co, do this, do that, uh, make sure she eats this, make sure at this time she does this. Um, I got a lot of respect from the doctors I, I, I encounter. One of them tell, told me, Jude, I can't, I'm, I'm a doctor, but uh, she, she can go on her own. I said, well, maybe you take, um, uh, health things for granted because you have solutions. I don't. So I'd rather be there every time to hear it for myself. So if she's not doing what she ought to be doing, you remind I'll her. remind her. Were you privileged to be at the theater when, uh, for the when three, your baby was coming? For the three, I would have wanted to be there. But for the first one, it was a CS. They wouldn't allow me into the theater. For the second one, I had her at a general hospital. But I was at the door, like I was inside there. But you know, they had multiple births, so they wouldn't. The doctor said you can't enter there because or some other people's wives are there yeah. too. Oh, so so you don't see so don't much. See so much, <laughs> you know. But for the third one, yes, we levels don't move up. So, so <laughs> it was at a private hospital, and I was there. I saw everything, and you know, thank God that was a male child because she have had. A, a, a girl child by her and the, why we had this gap between the two was I was telling her until the, until the economy improved I can't do another thing you know my my mother of blessed memory was part of why we had the second one eh you it's, it's just only one child you want to have for him ah, so where is the boy that will take over his property I said girls to take over property but you know the lady I agreed with my mom and she got pregnant. They worked it out. Yeah. Some women stuff. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's what they got to team up. Before you know what's happening, boom. <laughs> they teamed up and <laughs> I I I saw it and I told her, I won't put you through this again. Any regrets being a father? Never. Never. Uh, my 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 children are my number one sources of joy. I look at them. Their smiles, their tears inspire me to greater height. I look at them and I'm like, oh. And one thing I, I, I also do is, I don't know, 
I, I have never lied to my children. Never. I'm a lie to anybody. And it started from when they were small, I want to go out, they cry, I'm going to work. If you lie, cry, I'm going to work and I won't come back until tomorrow. And you know, so when I tell them I'm going to work, the next question is, when are you coming back? You understand? Not that, don't go, don't go. Most parents lie to their children. That's why their children don't trust them. You have people who have inspired you to be fathers like the one you have chosen to be. Yes. You know, maybe like one or two, three, you have family, friends or, you know. Yeah, funny enough, I learned to be a good father from a woman, my, my mother. My father was never there, you know. He was moving from place to place. So the onus of raising us was solely on my mom. You know, when I just finished secondary school, I, I have this kind of relationship with my mom, very close, yet we fight every time, you know. Then in one of these conversations, she dropped a bomb that actually hit me. She said, Jude, I know I can be better but I don't have a man that would hold for me to court. She said it, from that day, I was around 19, 20 then, I just told myself, I will be the Dodonim bear for my wife. I will, I will do all I can to make her the best that she will be. And I will always be there for my children. Um, I didn't move around so much. That conversation I had with my mom about some 30, 35 years ago had that thing on me that I, every time I, I want to do something contrary, I, I remember. remember that and I'm like, <sighs> okay, okay. When I learned that from her, I just told myself what my father wasn't to me. What my father was into my mother that held her back from self-actualizing. I will never be that to, her, to, both my to both my wife and my children. And today the cat has been let out of the bag. <laughs> how and why I am this committed right. to parenthood and marriage. Thank you very much. You was at home. I can't say more. I can't <laughs> add more. Jujukuka, always explosive. Positively explosive actor. And right now, positive, explosive father that he has been in the hood of fatherhood. Thanks for coming. Don't sign out until I do my now. She be tele tele. Now once for full more, we pay. Come out while the song. Oh, come out while the hood we pay. I want to jam it. I want to sing it. Come out while the song. Come out while the hood. I want Benny Bear, I want the lead for food to be free. I want Tingasa, I want the lead for food. Aye, you little, aye, you little. Aye, cut that.